welcome to signal and system playlist here in this session i'll be going to explain unit impulse function so first i'll define what is unit impulse function then we will see graphical representation of unit impulse function then i'll discuss few properties of unit impulse function and those properties will be helpful to you to solve few problems based on unit impulse function so see this session till last which will gives you complete idea about unit impulse function so when we talk about unit unit impulse function it is denoted by del of t or del of n del of t for continuous time and del of n for discrete time so it is denoted by del of t r del of and del of t for continuous time and del of n for discrete time so when you write that as function so del of t that is 1 for t is equals to 0 and it is 0 for t is not equals to 0 means elsewhere it will be 0 at t is equals to 0 it is 1 and in discrete time and in discrete time it is 1 for n is equals to 0 and it is 0 where n is not equals to 0 so as if you want to see how it looks like in graphical understanding in that case del of t that is 1 at t is equals to 0 and it is 0 at t is equals is not equals to 0 so when you see this it will be like this impulse where magnitude is 1 at t is equals to 0 else you will be finding it is actually zero and in del of n even at n is equals to zero it will be one and for other other variables it is zero so that is how graphically it is there now let us discuss few properties so that is so essential in unit impulse function so properties now i'll discuss properties of unit impulse function so see first property that is as if you integrate this impulse function so that will be unity so integration from minus infinite to plus infinite del of t dt so that will be always unity remember this integration of impulse function that is unity from minus infinite to plus infinite right so this is one essential property second is if you shift this then at that shifted position only there will be a magnitude like see for example if i say del of n minus k so in that case it will be 1 at n is equals to k and it will be zero at n is not equals to k so when you shift this right so at that time we need to see like if del of n is there in that case we have already seen like it will be one at n is equals to zero but if it is del of n minus k means at n is equals to k it will be one elsewhere it will be zero now how can we make unit impulse from step signal so to make unit impulse we just need to subtract unit step from its delayed one so if you do this operation u of n minus u of n minus 1 in that case you will be getting unit <coughs> impulse function now see how it is happening so as we know unit step function so unit step function so that will be like this u of n so that is having value 1 from 0 to infinite and as if you see u of n minus 1 so that will be that will be having zero value over here one over here 
starts from 1 it is shifted 1 right and if you subtract u of n minus u of n minus 1 so in that case you will be finding all these samples are getting eliminated if you subtract u of n minus u of n minus 1 then this elements will get eliminated so only this element will remain there and that is what unit impulse right so del of n that is u of n minus u of n minus 1 now next property next property so next is as you have any function f of t into del of t so here what will happen is like only one at one instant only there is impulse right so your output that will be in case of multiplication only at zeroth position whatever magnitude is there that you will get for other position output will be zero so i'm just noting it as f of zero means output is there at only zeroth position only and that is equals to the value of that function so f of zero that is what i'm denoting here right so at zeroth position only you will be getting amplitude so obviously if you do this operation f of t into del of t minus t0 means at t0 position whatever function value is there that will that will be the output only for other position your output will be zero now next property is so essential like see if you have del of kt so in units impulse you will be finding it will be 1 by mode of k into del t so this is very essential property one should remember this this property will be useful in solving some examples in future of uh, in future for gate example solution so this is so important property del of kt that is equals to 1 by k into del t and one more property that gives you idea like see del of minus t that is actually del t why the reason is folded version of unit impulse is that only right if you fold this with respect to zero so that is this only means this unit impulse function that is even function so from this property we can say unit impulse function is e1 function so these are so essential property that we should have idea about integration of unit impulse is unity if as if you have shifted version of impulse so in that case you will be having magnitude at n is equals to k in case of del of n minus k elsewhere it will be zero and to get unit impulse from step function it should be u of n minus u of n minus 1 that will result into del of n as if you multiply impulse with function then you will be getting value of that function at zeroth instant only and if you multiply function with shifted version of that impulse in that case that shifted value of that means that position of shifted version like if you have t minus t0 then at t0 instant only there will be function value elsewhere that function value will be 0 in case of multiplication of function with shifted of that impulse and next is so essential that is del of kt that is 1 by k into del t and as i have explained unit impulse function that is even function means del of minus t that is equals to del of t so this is where we can say unit impulse function is e1 function so these are so essential properties and basic understanding of unit impulse function and this unit impulse function understanding that we can carry to solve some problems 
based on signals so you just make make note based on this topic which i am writing here definitely that will be so essential for you in future for solving examples thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i will make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video